The move of the 12th Congress MLAs merging with the Trinamool Congress had drawn mixed reaction from various political parties and the presence made by the party in the state recently. Bigalai Deputy Chief Minister and National Vice President of the National People's Party, Preston Tinsong, said that the presence of the new political parties such as the Trinamool Congress would give more options for the people in choosing whom to vote for. He also said that as far as the legal aspect is concerned with the 12th MLAs merging with TMC, Tinsong stated that he is very sure that the MLAs have already calculated and consulted with their constitutional experts before making the move. The more political parties coming in in our state, I think that is a good sign. The more the merrier. So now we have new new party, newly launched party under the leadership of Aden Basamud in the name of VPP. And then again now, TMC also has already stepped in in our state. So ultimately, I leave it to the wisdom of the uh, voters of the state. But I personally feel it's a very healthy process, very healthy exercise to each and every citizens of the state of Bengal. 12 MLAs, are you trying to say they are full? Don't you think they already consulted with their legal, uh, their, their legal experts of the constitution? That is for sure. Even myself, if I have to do, means, you know, due diligence has to be done. Otherwise, I am subjected to disqualification. Meanwhile, Home Minister Lakman Rumboy of the United Democratic Party stated that the move of the 12th MLAs clearly shows that the BJP has succeeded in dividing the Congress. Unlike Tin Song, Rumboy said that it will be difficult for voters to choose with many political parties floating in the state. The BJP has succeeded in dismantling Congress. If it cannot do by itself, it could do by somebody. So it is the state of Mekhalia. The BGP could not succeed in, as the slogan says that uh, Congress moved. But th uh, through TMC, we have seen that Congress has been divided into where 12 legislators have left the party to merge themselves with the TMC. So this is not a very good development for the state, personally I said. For Karu Hills region, uh, it may be because there, so to say, more or less is a two party, more or less, 70% is a two party region. But for the us Kasi Jain the Hills, especially, will be very much confused when there are so many party is there. With majority of the defected MLAs are from Garu Hills, NPP MLA Thomas A. Sangma stated that the presence of the TMC in Garu Hills will not be a threat to the National People's Party since TMC and Congress will be fighting against each other. And uh, I don't uh, think that will be a great threat to our party NPP because NPP, we have at present, we have about 14 MLAs from our place. So I don't think uh, we, we will be, I mean, in a very uh, kind of, uh, it will be a threat to us, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't say that it will be a threat to us, but in any case, in politics, we, don't, we do not take anybody or any party or any group uh, uh, very lightly. So we will definitely uh, give our best. And uh, prove to our prove to everybody, especially to our people, that we are uh, we have been serving so uh, faithfully to our people, to the public, and we will continue to do so. It may be mentioned that two political parties have emerged recently in the state, which is the Trinamool Congress, who is making its presence through the 12th Congress MLAs led by Mukul Sangma and the Voice of the People's Party led by Arden Basayumad. With the emergence of these political parties, the state is looking at an interesting political dynamic ahead of the 2023 general election. TNT Bureau.